so bad. We can feel the Lord, feel the presence of the Lord. We can feel strongholds breaking. Hallelujah. All when it looks like it's holding up, it's breaking. Hallelujah. It's breaking. You may be seated. that it's breaking like those, those Caribbean um, the, 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 the houses made of wood. And, and, and sometimes for, for even a while, it hold up. And I myself sometimes would shake the wood and you discover there's not a lot in there. Yes, it's going down, it's going down. And thank God for this prayer. But I just wanted to just leave something in the one I don't want to help me pray about. It's gonna be unusual what I'm telling now. But you know, as I went to prayer this morning, you know, I don't like to say it, but I'm gonna say it. I went to prayer this morning broken, you know, broken. Very broken. And but as I went to prayer, you know, and as I'm praying. I fell off asleep. And in a vision, the Lord showed what I would term the discovery of a treasure. That the treasure is like there's a gap that's needed. There's a gap. And I can I can feel the gap for a couple of years. I can feel the gap for a couple of years, but it's kind of hard to explain. But it's always there. So even when I go to prayer, that gap is there. And uh, as I pray, then I fell asleep and I see a vision. And in the vision, I'm going to switch to a kind of different language. The visionary is on the street preaching. He's on the street preaching. It's kind of a square. And there are a few hundred people there. A few hundred people there. And for some reason, between the time he started preaching, and he stripped down to his waist. He stripped down to his waist. And uh, as he stripped down, to, but he has a mic. Usually, when the visionary preaches on the street, he doesn't use a mic. He just preaches. But in this case, he has a mic. And somewhere between the time he start preaching and as he go on, he stripped down to his waist. Somebody stripped him to his waist. Something happened and they stripped him to his waist. But something unusual, his daughter just show up, show up. And he knew he must give her the microphone. And he gave her the microphone and she started to preach. And as she started to preach, for a moment she turned her back and looked back on her dad and show, show him a wound and said, Dad, you got to take care of that wound, that injury that has been happening, that took place somehow. But then she turned back around and began to preach with the anointing and fervor. Yes, I call it the discovery of a treasure to fill a gap. I said, yes, I want you to help me to pray for my daughter. Amen. Yes. It's a secret. It's a secret that the Lord is doing. My God, the secret the Lord is doing and the Lord is going to raise her up. The Lord is going to raise her up. She's already raised up to do what she does in the ministry. You know, she's very trained and skillful in the area she does. But the Lord is going to raise her up to preach, to prophesy. My God. And God is going to give her clarity of mind. God is going to give her discernment. Hmm. Ah, she will not be swayed by nothing, but be led by God. Stand up and help me to pray. I told it is not a normal thing. Not a normal thing. Hey, but the prayer, it's gonna happen. God always have someone. God always have a lamb, but it's always who we don't expect. Very super quiet lady. I told her, I call her and I told her, I call the bishop first, let him pray with me. 
concerning it. And I called her and I said, you're a super quiet lady because you don't know your dad was one of the most quiet person in the world as well. And your mom is the same. So it's like you get double, you know, you're just super quiet. But said, you don't, you don't, don't look on that. You see, when the quiet people observe a lot, people don't know. The quiet people, they observe but talk less. So they have a lot of load. And they already so I encourage them to say, don't be afraid. God going to raise you up. God going to cause you to fill some gaps. I could say some more, but I want to stay, you know, in, in, a, in, a, in a good, good spirit. Let's pray right now. And before I forget, but I swear I'll have to pray for you when you finish. Yes, but uh, let's please pray that God will touch, touch my daughter. I'm not going to call her name. Touch her. God. Church, God don't lie. Every time God said these things, it happened. And when it happened, I shudder, just like anybody. I shudder. I said, what happened? Let's pray for her right now. And God will touch her. Touch her. She's going to rise up like a mighty prophetess. It's needed. It's needed. It's needed. A mighty prophetess. It's needed among the king's men. It's needed. The gap will be filled in the name of Jesus. She raise her up, Jesus. But no nonsense, woman of God. Fill the gap, Lord Jesus. Touch her, Jesus. Visit her where she is right now, God. That which you have revealed, Lord. We receive it. Yes, Lord. To preach and prophesy and discern. My God. My God. Fill the gaps, Lord. Fill and all who else to be raised up, Lord. All who else to be raised up. Because Lord, I believe it's more than one person. I believe there are others, God, who you are selecting and who nobody expected. But they are tired of hypocrisy. They are tired of the darkness. They are tired of the blindness. They are tired and say, it will be no more. It will be no more. They are tired of the manipulation. My God, they are tired of the deception. And they say, I'm going to arise. Raise them up, Jesus. Raise them up, Jesus. Raise them up, Jesus. My God. My God, my God. My God. And whenever, and over the years, whenever the Lord show me revelations like this, because it happened, you know, several years, over and over, whenever he show me, that's what it is, persecution. It means that they're not going to stop. There's going to be more. They're gonna, that's all, it's all the, I said it publicly all the time. When you see, they, they strip you like what I did to Jesus. You mean there's going to be more persecution. But God going to rise up somebody. They're going to shock. Man, I believe it's, it's not only her. God going to rise up others and say enough is enough. But so well, where is he? Come on. You're one God going to rise up. Ah, don't listen to don't listen to any foolishness around you. Your wife is here. No, yes, don't listen to no foolishness around you. Yes, listen to your most senior leaders. Remember one, you know. Yes, don't listen to them. Listen to your most senior leaders. That's why I see so much so, so much success. Everything of us I'm touch it work. And some troublemakers don't remember that. It worked because God is with it. People are mesmerized. They cannot understand what go on. Hmm? We went to a church, a mega church down, down south. And we walk in there, sit down. As we walk in there, just take us like we are VIP. And just take us straight to sit right beside the leader. Yeah. And when they begin to talk about others, I mean, he thought is I tell them what to say. Are you there? Because it work. 
it work. People have all kind of confusing stuff, but what God has said worked. You see the fruit, you see the fulfillment, you see the families, you see the faith, you see the fire, you see it. So don't listen to them. If you have a question, ask a senior leader. Senior, I said, you know, ask a senior leader. The people who were here from the beginning, the beginning, 30 odd years ago, is still here. Still here. You must ask the Zoo and call them up and say, Why are you still here? Because it works. But God, you have a yearning, you have a hunger. You have a hunger. You know, and I call your name to the bishop since we came. You have a hunger. And the hunger that you have, go eat. You hear me say, young man, go and eat. Don't no afraid of nobody. Just make sure you do it orderly. But go eat. You want the fire? Go take the fire. You want the fire? Go into the fire. Lift your hand. Lift your hand. Lift your hand. Lift. Give me some oil. I'm going to, I'm going to, look, open your eyes. It's a young man over there. When he came to America, he came to America about 2008. That's that 2007. That's um 15 years ago. And because I know how he was in Jamaica, when he came, I I said to him before all, I said, don't follow nobody. I said, behave just like you behave in Jamaica. Don't follow nobody. And he. And that's what he do to this day. That's why God raised him up so much. And when he stood, others who were fooling around and saw he just arrive and move forward like that, they begin to change their ways. God have a way, he, he just bring in somebody. Huh? And I'm laying hand on you. You're not going to look to them. God going to raise you. Put some more in my hand here. In the name of Jesus. Raise up this young man, Lord. I see the hunger, Lord. I see the yearning. Lord, your word said, Those who hunger and thirst after righteousness shall be filled. I feel his heart. My God, as he hungers, Jesus. Oh, you said, Lord, there'll be famine for the word of God. Ah, but there is food available for the hungry. My God, fill him, Jesus. Fill his heart. Fill his mind, my God. Fill his family. Fill him, Lord, with fire. My God, my God, my God. Fire. Holy Ghost, fire. Holy Ghost, fire. Come upon this young man. Ah, Shaka baga 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 from heaven. Shiro gara baga 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 baga. Fire from heaven come upon him. Shiro baga 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 baga. And unto his wife and family. In Jesus' name, God bless.